snow. Whew. Hey guys, bike vlogger here. On my way to work. It's an icy cold day today. All this white on the roads is salt. Nasty. Three miles per hour. To deal with uh, ice, I don't have studded tires on right now. I just try to ride straight through it. You know, don't turn, just go straight. Waiting for the cars. It's sort of busy right now. Wait for it. Wait for it. There we go. Chili. Uh, it's very cold. I think the high today is like 10 degrees, 10 degrees Fahrenheit or something. So, what I actually wanted to uh, talk about today was uh, oh, cell phone radiation. Um, a few quick tips. Just uh, turn off your phone when not in use and don't put it right next to your body. And if you have to, with it turned on, if you have to, make sure you have the antenna facing away from you. And uh, I guess that's about it. Uh, we're gonna take a risk and we're gonna go straight this way. I wanted to talk about, here we go, let's see. This isn't too icy. It's a little snow. Whew. Looks like there's uh, been a couple bikes through here. I see some bike tracks. Let's take this a little easy. It's very, uh, there's like less than an inch of snow, I think or about an inch. No bike tracks here. Uh. Woo. 
So, uh, yeah, cell phone radiation. I'm only talking about it because, uh, see, I ride without a, uh, a pack on my bike. I just ride with, uh, I just put stuff in my pockets, like my cell phone. And it got, got me thinking, you know, you know, maybe this isn't good to have it so close to my body. So maybe I'll just turn it off. When not using it. Oh. Radiation's everywhere though. You yeah, got cell towers. Just electric electricity and magnetism all over the place. You may not even think about it that much, but it's everywhere. Does it cause cancer? I don't know. <laughs> I know the radiation is one of the uh, things used to fight cancer or treat it. I'm usually riding the sidewalk. It's very windy. Just sort of wandering around right now. <sighs> so, uh, yeah, radiation's in the x-rays at the dental office. It's, uh, it's really everywhere. So yeah, I only bring it up because I've been thinking about it. I always keep my cell phone in my pocket. And just got, to, got thinking that uh, maybe having something that has a strong enough signal to reach a cell tower in my pocket all day long isn't such a good idea. So when I get to work, I now try to remember to take it out of my pocket 
and at least uh, set it down on the desk or something rather than uh, rather than keep it in my pocket. It's a smartphone. I do use it quite a lot during the day. But, you know, I don't think I need it in my pocket. So. Did I mention it's cold out? It is very cold out right now. It's like 10 degrees Fahrenheit. Like minus 12 Celsius or whatever. And it's really windy. So the wind chills like in the negative teens Fahrenheit. Winter has begun for sure. some uh, plows, like tractors. Uh. Let's, let's see what else. Uh, I was just reading online some uh, good suggestions. One thing I hadn't thought about, I have an electric blanket at home, and uh, I don't know, perhaps uh, I shouldn't have it turned on when it's actually laying on top of me. Careful here. Because uh, obviously it's bunch of electrical wires going all over the place so it's going to create a, a magnetic field all around you now I know some of you are probably thinking hey you know this guy's rambling on about it, conspiracies or something you know like oh they're trying to kill us with radiation and magnetism and all this other funky stuff that's been around for a century well that's just the point it's been around a long time and it's we're already beyond that point so I was gonna ramble on about like hey they're trying to kill us or whatever well we're beyond that it's all already all over the place it's recommended though if, you know, like you text more than talk, you know, or you use the, uh, the speaker phone. That way you don't have the phone right up against your ear, right near your brain, especially on a longer call. The way I understand it is uh, a theoretical relationship to the strength of the uh, signal is like an exponential function. So if you just have it a few more inches away from your, uh, from your head or your body, You could be putting a lot less uh, of that energy 
field into your body. Uh, of course, one thing worth noting is that our our bodies are like, I don't know, 80, 90% water. So I don't know what sort of effect that has on it. On uh, I know water just soaks up radiation. At least I think it does. Make a left here. Try not to kill ourselves. So, anyway, on that uh, wonderful note, thanks for watching on this commute to work with me by bike. I'm just a guy on a bike in a city going to work. See you guys next time.